We have a group up front, and you can see now that the heart of the chase, I'm afraid, is stalling. So we've got them. Benoit Cosnefois, Kenton Hermans, Marijn van der Berg, Tim Wellens, Dylan Turns, Joseph Blackmore, and Jefferson Chapeda are out front. They've got 18, 19 seconds. It'll be over 20 before you know it, with about three to go. Well, we've still got one climb. It's uh, kind of a drag, really. The uh, <laughs> Not in emotional terms. Uh, the S bogged over right. So, <laughs> you couldn't describe this day any any bit more badly, to be honest. It has been fabulous. Action stations from the very beginning. I'm almost breathless, Ian. We, we've had no chance even to sort of ponder much beyond the action, and that's a great thing. It's been full gas since they hit these finishing the circuits. Just unbelievable, as we see <laughs> now. Just a little bit of impetus coming out of this chasing group. They can look behind and visually see that gap back to the chasers. They can see as Vandenberg just continues with the effort off the front of this one. And uh, Cepeda doesn't want to take it up. Vandenberg just riding away stealthily right now. <laughs> They've got to be careful that uh, they don't end up getting mugged here. Dylan Turns just uh, sitting in front of uh, his team. Is uh, Sorry, uh, uh, yeah, Dylan turns in front of his teammate uh, Joseph Blackmore at the moment. I don't know if he's going to try and slingshot him off the ro up the road. Blackmore um, has shown a great deal of urgency within his game today. They are not giving Marijn van der Berg the respect I think he is due at the moment. 20 seconds back to the pack. Marginal here, three or four seconds. Who's got some power within this group? Ian, to deny him, he's, uh, he's got a margin, slim one. Not 100% sure who has got the firepower to bring him back right now. He's got a decent advantage right now. The only thing is, once he turns right down here, it basically drags all the way to the line. Just eases ever so slightly with 200 metres to go, but taking full advantage of the camera motorbike and that gap going out to the chasers as they're just looking around, flicking elbows, no one coming through with any real impetus. And Vandenberg, is he going to ride away with this one? It looks like he might have a great chance. Kosnefoy came to the front. He's done a lot of work today. Started off as favourite, never won it. The last four editions, third, eighth, second and third. And uh, to my mind, Marijn van der Berg said he got a kick, showed it on the hills, and right now he's kicking sand in everybody else's fa faces. He's uh, going to see the Flam Rouge. He's in the S's already. He's dealing with the most difficult part of this last sequence. He's kind of dealt with that right now. It starts to flatten out here, and I think he's stolen it. This is fantastic. From a small group, we get a winner. We've said that so often. They're going to try and pick him up right now. There's a little bit of pace about the chase, and uh, they're starting to lean upon each other. Dylan Turns come through. Is it Joe Blackmore? Couldn't quite see. There's the Flam Rouge. Can Marijn van der Berg bring this one home? This would be fabulous, Ian. It certainly was. He just stole that gap, just ghosted off the front oh. of this group, and it's... Uh... Joseph Blackmore on the front, desperately trying. Is he just going to run out of gas? They've still got a good two, three hundred metres of climbing to go until it does begin to flatten off. A great job by Blackmore right now to try and bring this one back for his team leader, Toynes. All right, Van der Berg, last 500 metres, uh, it, it is four turns, but Benoit Cosnefoy could also strike here. Let's wait and see. Don't discount Chapeda at the back either. This gap is still there, and uh, Marijn van der Berg is just starting to... The shoulders are starting to roll, and Joseph Blackmore has been like a train here. Kenton Hermans ready to go over the top. Tim Vellens also here, clever, clever rider, and it is the 500-metre marker where stand clear of the yellow line. There's a train coming through right now, but who's it going to be? There is Blackmore on the front. He comes out of the saddle being traced as we we stand at the moment by Kenton Hermans. Hermans in second place, has a check over his shoulder. Tim Wellens is also here. Hermans can't do it. Chapeda has a, a, a brief look as they come through the heat haze. Still Joseph Blackmore on the front. Watch Chapeda. He's waiting for a jump here. Uh, the man from Cairo Rural. It would be a famous victory for him if he can possibly get there. Kenton Hermans can't resist anymore, can he? And indeed elsewhere. Finally folding through. He goes for it does he goes back into the saddle can't get there Tim Wellens picks it up Blackmore's here as well also Cosnefoy oh I think he's 
got there. Brilliant at work. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to have the heart. And sometimes you may have a bag of that. And quite frankly, there's a hole in it in the end. Marijn van der Berg so, so brave. But Benoit Costefois in charge of his destiny. In the end, it was about timing. And Benoit Costefois had it. Michael Matthews comes across the line just to prove what might have been. Oh, my life. What a day we have had. Total attritional racing over a whole sequence of climbs. They may not have been the Alps, but this feels like Everest. Conquered and dispatched by Benoit Cosnefois.